Welcome back guys, MC here, just with another Maelstrom video. I'm sorry, I know it's pretty much been only Maelstrom videos, but seeing as I still don't have my Inferno Sharpened Staff, I'm still concentrating on there while it's double drops. This is just a quick example of um, something I've recently heard or you know, heard for quite a while in the chat saying, oh, people always post videos of them doing Maelstrom with Maelstrom weapons or Max CP. So I'm going to show you guys that you don't need Maelstrom weapons. I have an Infernal Staff of Willpower and Infernal Staff of Mother Sorrow. And I just showed you my champion points. I have 54 points allotted in the blue tree, 53 in the red, and 53 in the green tree, which totals 160 champion points allotted only. Other ways you can tell is my health pool and my magic pool is much lower than normal. Um, each point you have in certain trees in the champion points um, tree gives you more uh, max stats. If you didn't know that already. So I'm using buy stat food like normal, max magic, max health, and I'm using spell power pots for my spell power. They also they also give you crit, but I have inner light, so it's a bit redundant. So you can see I'm doing my normal setup. Um, now one thing you might have noticed is I'm going to use sigils because, I mean, in my opinion, if you're that low CP, chances of you getting a high leaderboard score is pretty low anyways. You're probably just going more for completions. So I'm going to pick up the sigils. Why not? So you see, it took me a bit longer to get upstairs, but I still got up just fine. And I'm going to do my regular strategy, um, this was a very disciplined run actually, I, I knew it would be harder so I was really really concentrating on it. Um, now I'm using Grothdar, uh, reason being is, as far as I know, I could be wrong, but the uh, damage from monster sets isn't affected as much by your stats, so I figured since it's an overpowered monster set anyways, why not just use it and it would help kind of close that gap. As you can see, like, my execute's hitting 27k for crits, and I'm usually like 32 or 33k, depending on what buffs I have up. So yeah, the damage is definitely significantly lower. And here, so I'm going to dot up the last crystal I dropped down, I'm going to pick up the weapon power, like the power up for damage and the shield. Again, I'm just focusing on DPSing the boss as much as possible. Uh, it's even more important that I pick up the sigil or the um, the gold ghost, because if the gold ghost goes to the final boss, it's going to get more armor and do more damage, which at lower CP is even harder. With max setup, you can just burst through, and it's not a big deal. But so yeah, just doing my, my regular setup, button up the boss, using my assassination ultimate when I can to have that 20% uh, increased damage for six seconds. Get the third gold ghost, blow it up, and bam. That's the game. And just gonna show you to make sure I still have the champion points I told you. So 30 and 23. Got 10, 40 in elemental, one spell erosion. Sorry, 10 into elfborn. And then the remaining three is in Thaumaturge, so that's 54. And then I went three in a hardy, four in elemental defender, and ten into quick recovery. Those three in a hardy are actually kind of just wasted because nothing's really hitting you except for the crematorial guard with his swipe attack. But look at the loot and crap loot as per normal. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you like this video, like and always feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.